Hello, this is Hedia Borzo and welcome to Sirantuts.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to prepare a 3D animated model for After Effects Trap Code Particular. To do that, you have to export your 3D animated model with an OBJ sequence exporter. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install an OBJ sequence exporter and how to work with it. So, Go to the project file and download it. There are two scripts in the project file. Select them, copy them with control C, go to drive C, user, user, documents, Maya, version of your own Maya, prefs, and paste them here. Close this window, go back to Maya and open the script editor here. Clear everything here. Go to File, Load the Script, and go to the same exact address. See User User Documents Maya version of your own Maya Prefs. And hit Enter. Copy the name of this script here with control C, but do not open anything. Cancel it and paste it here. Go to file, save a script to shelf and call it obj exporter. Hit OK. Here we go. OBJ Sequence Exporter is ready to be used. Now I am going to teach you how to work with OBJ Sequence Exporter. So close this window, go back to the project file and drag your 3D animated model here. Select your model. As you see, the animation starts from frame number 1 and ends on frame 18. So go to OBJ Sequence Exporter and type 1 to 18. Go to Windows Outliner and select your mesh. And that's it. Export it and call it Flying01. Hit OK and save it wherever you want. Now it's time to transfer everything to After Effects and work with it in Trapcode Particular. As you already know, Trapcode Particular is not a built-in plugin and you have to install it. So let's get started. Create a new composition, Full HD, Paul, 5 second long and call it main. Double click in the project panel and select the first OBJ sequence file and import it. Drop it down here and turn it off. Create a new solid and call it TP to apply trap code particular on it. Go to emitter section and set the emitter type to OBJ model. This feature using uh, the OBJ model only works in version 3.0.1 or higher. Define a layer for it here, OBJ emitter, and define this layer flying. As you see, the particles are shooting in all directions, and we are going to let them to fill out only our 3D animated model. So, zero the velocity, Velocity random, velocity distribution, and velocity from motion. Let's turn up the number of particles so much. Set it to a number like 200,000 particles. As you see, the particles are overlapping on each other because they are alive for three seconds. So go to particle section and turn the life of the particles down, set it to a number like 0 0.08. That's it. Now we are going to make this model to look more interesting. So create a new camera to spin around your scene. 
tab C a couple of times. Go back to trap code particular and turn the size down set it to a number like one. Awesome. For color, uh, set the color to random from gradient and go here color over life and choose this preset pull this down wonderful now i am going to make it look more interesting so i'm going to duplicate my trap code particular to do that i'm going to designer duplicate it from here and apply it Let's close all the stuff up. Go to show system and turn off the master system or my first trap code particular. Now you cannot see anything because something is missing from system number two and you have to bring it back. So go to emitter section, OBJ emitter and set it to flying. And that's it. Now I'm going to make it look more interesting. So bring the number of particles down, set it to a number like 5,000 particles and go to particle section and turn the size up, set it to three and go back again to show system and turn on the master system let's have a quick preview on it it's time to composite it with a new background so drag your background here in the project panel drop it down here and apply curves on it pull it down to make it look darker Pull this one a little bit up, pull this one down, and this one up. Hit S on the keyboard to scale up your background. Hit P on the keyboard and go further in time here. Keyframe the position, go back to the beginning of the comp, and move it sorry move it this way and let's have a quick preview on it now i am going to add a little bit of camera movements because the trap code particular is the only 3d layer that we have the camera only affect this layer not the background layer so go to camera transform and uh, keyframe uh, the point of interest, position, and orientation. Tap C a couple of times. Put it somewhere here. Go to the beginning of the comp. And put it here. And let's see the result. Awesome. Now I am going to create a new adjustment layer above all of my layers call it cc and apply glow and curves on it so for glow turn it a little bit up and turn this one down and this one set it to a number like 72 it's a matter of your taste go to curves and pull it up pull this one down sorry and this one down either and this one a little bit up and let's have a quick preview on it Thank you so much for watching this video.